What is up guys? It's Jess here. And guys here. Thank you for tuning in again. Today we'll bring you guys a little surprise and uh, we'll bring you along for this little journey. We're actually picking up a new car. Uh, a little bit of a surprise. We weren't really in the market for a new car, but good deal came good, up. So. Yeah, good deals. When the good deals come up, you can't just, you know, go buy them and there's uh, Zoe there looking in her prime. But yeah, it's going to be a little <laughs> good little addition for the time being. So we're going to be able to bring you more content. But for right now, let's get on the road. Let's do it. Just picked up the trailer, about to go get the car. All right guys, so we're back at home. Uh, so we didn't really mention what we we're gonna pick up, but as you guys can see, another IS300 has joined the family. Uh, this car actually does need a little bit of work. Um, the issue that we're having is that it's just cranking over, but it's not actually turning on. But for the for right now, we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, we're just gonna actually get the car off and probably go return the trailer right now. Uh, it's late in the day. Just want to get some food, chill. But I'm gonna give you a quick little walk around so you guys can see what we're working with. This is our new 2003 Lexus IS 300. Unfortunately, it's a five-speed automatic. But uh, we've always wanted an automatic, and it's it's gonna be fun to drive. It does have a little Alteza grill. Not sure if that's really authentic or fake. Besides that, it has sport design wheels. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the whole set. It only has three. Let me show you over here on this side. It only has three. The tires inside, but not the rim. So it looks like he might have cracked it or something. We'll maybe pick up another sport design wheel. For right now, it's gonna chill. Uh, we will be diagnosing the problem uh, as time progresses. This car is actually a full, in uh, full leather interior car. He actually did include a radiator, or I shouldn't say he included it because we actually bought it off of him. Uh, the radiator on this car is actually messed up. The interior is in decent shape. Driver and passenger seats do have rips, but it's expected. It looks good nonetheless. Uh, 250,000 miles, believe it or not, but uh, it still looks good. Uh, there is some damage to, I believe, this fender right here. And then uh, it looks like the trunk area got messed up as well back here. As you guys can see, there's a quite a bit of a dent there and it caused like the actual line right here to be open but uh no biggie uh, this suffers the same exact like the alligator skin inside the tail light so guys a little behind the scenes footage so uh this car actually does have a broken not broken but it has a bent tie rod on this side and uh, we decided to just push it and send it and it ended up just going sideways on the trailer so we went ahead and just jacked up the two front wheels or two front sides and yeah. Let's assess the damage. We already created that. Right here. <laughs> and just bent that. So that's the aftermath. Oh, that's okay. Well, we'll figure it out, but it's fine. Ham it's nothing a hammer can fix. So that's the reason why it went one side right there. That was a little scary. 